The discovery of life beyond our solar system has long captured the human imagination, fueled by both scientific research and speculative fiction. With the advent of revolutionary technologies like the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, the possibility of discovering extraterrestrial secrets is more than just conjecture. JWST, representing the pinnacle of observational power, promises to revolutionize our understanding of the universe, allowing us to peer deeper into it than ever before. Armed with this technological wonder, scientists have set their sights on the closest star system to us, Proxima Centauri, located just four light years away. This cosmic neighbor invites us to explore. In the Proxima Centauri system is Proxima b, a planet filled with mystery and intrigue. It is there that scientists have discovered mysterious phenomena, artificial lights, that challenge the conventional perception of a barren, lifeless landscape. These illuminations have puzzled even the brightest minds, sparking passionate speculation about their origin and meaning. Could these artificial lights be a sign of intelligent life lurking in the abyss of the cosmos? It is this notion that has sent shockwaves through the scientific establishment, calling into question long-held assumptions about humanity's place in the cosmos. As researchers grapple with this profound question, JWST is poised to unlock the mysteries of Proxima b, providing insights into the unknown and potentially reshaping our understanding of life and its prevalence in the universe. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence extends far beyond our cosmic backyard. Since ancient times, Humans have looked to the heavens and pondered the existence of kindred spirits among the stars. The quest found new life with the launch of the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, SETI, project, led by visionary astronomers Jill Tarter and Thomas Pearson in 1984. Armed with a range of cutting-edge technologies, SETI attempts to scour the cosmos for signs of intelligent life, harnessing the power of radio telescopes to sift through the vastness of space for elusive signals. Yet despite decades of tireless effort, the silence of the cosmos persists, leaving humanity to confront the haunting possibility of its solitude in the cosmos. Enter JWST, the guardian of humanity's insatiable curiosity, poised to pierce the veil of cosmic anonymity and shed light on the mysterious worlds beyond our own. With unparalleled precision and sensitivity, it promises to uncover the subtle traces of life in the vastness of the cosmos, bringing hope in the face of existential uncertainty. As JWST embarks on its adventure of discovery, it carries the aspirations of generations past and present, a beacon of hope for a universe full of possibilities, from the crimson shores of Proxima b to the unexplored galaxies of the far reaches of the galaxy, JWST is a testament to humanity's boundless curiosity and restless spirit of discovery. But the search for a cosmic companion is not without its challenges. The vastness of space, coupled with the inherent limitations of technology, presents insurmountable obstacles. Yet it is in the face of such adversity that humanity and its indomitable spirit shine brightest, propelling us ever further in our quest to uncover the secrets of the cosmos. When we gaze into the depths of space, we are reminded of our own insignificance amid the cosmic tapestry. And yet, in this vast darkness, we find solace in knowing that we are not alone. Somewhere among the countless stars scattered across the celestial web, there exists the possibility of life waiting to be discovered. So we journey into the unknown, guided by the light of curiosity and driven by the boundless ambition of the human spirit. With each passing day, we come closer to uncovering the mysteries of the universe and realizing our most cherished dreams. Ultimately, what drives us is not simply the quest for knowledge but the unshakable belief that in the infinite vastness of the cosmos lies the promise of discovery, a discovery that could forever change our understanding of the cosmos, ourselves, and our place in it. JWST and the mission to Proxima Centauri is just one chapter in the ongoing story of humanity's exploration. Of the Stars Beyond Proxima b, the universe may contain billions of exoplanets. According to NASA, the first signs of life beyond our solar system may be found in extraterrestrial plant life. The Galileo probe, en route to Jupiter, pointed its instrument toward Earth and found clear signs of the presence of plants. The instrument detected a vegetation red edge, a mixture of red and infrared light reflected from plants. 
For example, a planet like Earth that is covered in dense forests would have a distinct red edge to be easy to spot. JWST will measure the red edges of distant Earth like planets in the habitable zone around stars. This could be an important sign of life in the atmospheres of exoplanets. When sunlight passes through a planet and its star, JWST can detect it as it enters its atmosphere. The missing wavelengths of light are then detected using spectroscopy. Atoms and molecules in the atmosphere absorb specific wavelengths, creating characteristic fingerprints that JWST can recognize. This method can be used to determine the composition of the atmosphere and assess whether life exists. It is possible that life could exist on Earth sized planets with atmospheres similar to our own, which are mainly oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide. By looking for elements that are not normally present, it is possible to detect technological life. Chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, which were created for use in refrigeration and cleaning products, would likely be detectable by aliens monitoring Earth's atmosphere from a distance. If JWST finds CFCs in a planet's atmosphere, it would be a clear sign of civilization. I in fact, life on exoplanets may not resemble life on Earth at all. Sometimes even terrestrial life, such as extremophiles, can seem alien. This is a group of organisms, mainly bacteria, that can endure environments where other living organisms would perish. Some humans can withstand temperatures up to 120 degrees Celsius, others can withstand temperatures as low as minus 20 degrees Celsius, some can survive in strong acids with a pH below 3, while others others can be found on Earth in places we would not expect to find life, but since planets like Earth are more likely to support life than planets with extreme temperatures or acidic conditions, you should start with those first. The leading candidates may have temperatures that allow liquid water to exist on their surfaces and orbit a stable star. Our Sun is classified as a yellow G-type star. These stars are less common and tend to have shorter lifespans in our universe. The potential for studying planets orbiting red dwarf stars, which are more common and have lower luminosity in temperatures than the Sun, is higher. The process of forming life and evolving complex life forms takes longer because these stars have longer lifespans, importantly, the TRAPPIST-1 planetary system, located about 40 light-years from Earth, is the subject of JWS Standamp, hashtag 039, S first mission. It orbits a quiet red dwarf star with seven rocky planets about the size of Earth. Three of the rocky planets are in what's called the habitable zone, which could have liquid water on their surfaces. The Trappist, one star, though much smaller and cooler than our Sun, still shines with a similar brightness to Earth because its planets orbit close together. The best chance for humans to see city lights outside the solar system is Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf located 4.25 light years from our Sun and nearest star. Proxima b is about 600 times dimmer than the Sun so a planet would have to be 20 times closer to it than Earth and the Sun to support life based on liquid water. In August 2016, astronomers discovered a planet 1.3 times the mass of Earth in this habitable zone, in the Goldilocks-like habitable zone where the light intensity is just enough to melt water. Proxima b orbits Proxima Centauri. It is possible that Proxima b is an airless, lifeless planet because it orbits the red dwarf star at a distance of just 7.4 million kilometers. The planet Proxima b is in a close orbit, exposing it to strong solar winds that could completely destroy its atmosphere, however, Proxima b also receives enough sunlight for Earth-like temperatures and liquid water. Due to its proximity to the star, Proxima b is considered to be tidally locked, always showing the same side of the star as the Moon in relation to Earth. Proxima Centauri has about one-eighth the mass of the Sun and burns much less intensely than one might expect for a planet so close to its star, only 5% of the distance between Earth and the Sun, which might be expected to be a glowing ash cloud. Liquid water could easily exist on Proxima b as long as the planet had an atmosphere to heat it, since the total energy transmitted to it by the Sun is only 65% of the energy received by Earth, however, the planet is not particularly conducive to life. It is most likely tidally locked, meaning it always faces the same direction toward the star and has fixed day and night edges with significant temperature variations. 
The planet also receives 100 times more energy radiation than Earth due to its proximity to Proxima Centauri, including X-rays and ultraviolet light. Proxima b is also bombarded by high-energy particles in stellar explosions. Unless it has a protective magnetic field similar to Earth's, Proxima b's environment would be hostile to life as we know it, however, certain conditions could actually make Proxima b a hospitable world. Models show that the atmospheres of tidally locked planets are susceptible to rapid collapse due to the freezing of volatile gases on the night side. Therefore, a planet's atmosphere is essential to its habitability. Proxima b would be habitable if it had a thick enough atmosphere to transfer the star's energy from its fixed day side to its fixed night side. The type of atmosphere that would be capable of supporting life is currently unknown. If Proxima b had a thick atmosphere and strong winds, heat from the day side could be transferred efficiently to the night side, promoting a more balanced climate. This could result in a habitable zone of destruction, a narrow band of twilight between the permanent day and night sides. Additionally, the discovery of Proxima c, a second potential planet in the Proxima Centauri system, adds complexity and excitement to the search for life. Proxima c, if confirmed, would orbit the more distant star and potentially host a different set of conditions, further expanding our understanding of habitable environments to us oh the possibility of life on Proxima b is not as far-fetched as it may seem. JWST and other telescopes may soon reveal whether the planet has an atmosphere that could support liquid water and perhaps some form of life. The detection of biosignatures, such as specific gases in the atmosphere that indicate biological processes, would be a major breakthrough, suggesting that life may not be unique to Earth. As we stand on the brink of potentially monumental discoveries, the role of technology in our quest to understand the universe cannot be overstated. JWST represents not only a leap in astronomical capabilities, but also a beacon of hope for those who believe in the existence of life beyond Earth. Its observations will guide us, challenge our perceptions, and perhaps eventually lead us to an answer to one of humanity's oldest questions, are we alone in the universe, the search for life in the universe continues, with each discovery bringing us closer to the possibility that we may one day discover that we are not alone. JWST, with its unprecedented capabilities, is our best instrument in this monumental mission, opening a new chapter in the history of human exploration and our place in the universe.